Oh, sweet mama. Only four days old, and baby Antoinette's parents are sure she's going to be a diva, not willing to wait for anybody, not even a doctor. I was scared. I mean, it was definitely, I was nervous. Saturday morning, 34-year-old Brian Jackson had already loaded his five sons, all under the age of 10, into the SUV. They were heading to the hospital because mom, Lakeisha, was about to deliver. But they didn't get very far. In fact, she didn't even get off the bed. I said to myself, okay, when they get about 10, we can get up and go. But she went from 15 minutes apart to hard labor. At that point, we knew there was no way we were going to make it to the hospital, and we didn't want to be stuck in the car. I looked at my husband. I told him, I said, okay, you're going to have to deliver because she's coming. So he looked at me and said, you sure? I said, come on, let's go. And I laid down, and she came. Three, Three pushes. pushes, and she came. There she was. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Then I heard her little cry, so I knew everything was okay. Okay, without ever calling 911. But that might be because Brian's seen this five other times and has a leg up on other dads. He's a medical student at Wayne State University. Medical school may have given me a slight edge in thinking I could handle this. I mean, but I. I, again, I was still very nervous, so I, even thinking about grabbing a phone to make a call, there wasn't any time to do that. You might call her the bow tie on the family. Now that there is a girl among all the children, the Jacksons say they're done with children, at least for now. From Detroit, Smitha Kloki, 7 Action News. Wow, five boys and a girl. There you go. There you go. Probably got lucky on that last one, right? <laughs> Finally.